Hi there guys and welcome back to another edition of Extremely Cocky It's a War Review. Um, pleased to be bringing you a win. Let's go and have a look at the war log. Um, it was against uh, Murder Inc who um, coincidentally got murdered. Um, uh, let's have a look at the map. Now, they didn't do half bad considering the scoreline um, because they they three starred our top TH9, which is um, We Go Again, um, and that's the first time I've seen that base three starred. Um, and we definitely don't normally give away three stars that high up the map. Um, it's normally around about 10 or 11, so. Um, but obviously, they failed to get any more three stars, um, so that really hurt them in the end. Um, and uh, I've noticed recently that we, we tend to win it in the TH9 area. It used to be that we won it in the TH8 area, um, but uh, I think maybe we've got more TH9s now, I'm not sure. Um, so we also three-starred their highest TH9, um, but I think we got a few more three-stars than they did on the TH9s, which is, like I say, which is where we won it. So well, let's go ahead and have a look at uh, the replay. Um, it was actually myself. And get the replay to work. Um, so I'm doing a uh, surgical hogs, and um, we're going to bring in the hogs to this top. Uh, sorry, the golems into this top uh, section here. Um, clear a funnel with the wizards, get the golems and uh, wizards and heroes into the centre, and then jump spell into the middle. Um, and once the queen's engaged there, then we can put the hogs um, individually on the archer tower on the cannon on the archer tower on the archer tower and on the last archer tower there um so <clears throat> let's see if it went according to plan so in come the golems now i had to use all of my wizards to create the funnel um which was probably a little bit of a mistake probably should have taken a few more wizards um now they had a dragon and two loons in the clan, clan castle. Um, so we're going to rage to um, bring on the wizards a bit. And no doubt the hogs are going to come down um, south. There's the jump spell. And the jump spell, it worked. Um, not ideal. Um, it was a bit skew-if. And as you can see, my king uh, is trying to break through a wall instead of using the jump spell. Um, so any second now. He's going to jump in there, we're going to rage him, and then that's going to be the point at which the queen gets involved. And once the queen gets involved, in come the hogs. There goes the queen. So, here we go. Um, I'm using giants here to tank, so the idea being is that that, gi that giant's going to take all of the fire from the first layer of weapons, um, which it does, which gives those hogs that extra little bit of strength and, uh, and health. So as you can see, we only lost three hogs in the in three double in three big bombs there, um, and that's the advantage of doing it surgical. <coughs> so the second heal's down, second heal spells down, and we've only got uh, one, two, three. We got five defenses remaining. Um, we are a little bit low on hogs, uh, but. Um, so far we've only been doing this for less than a minute, um, so we've got a good two, two, two and a half minutes to go. Um, and the Queen there just found the last big bomb, so we're not going to have any surprises cleaning up, so let's just speed this up. And done. So, uh, well, that was that one. I think the next three stars is uh, Skylar. So, this will be Lava Hounds. Lava Hounds and Loons. So, he's taken only two Rage and four Haste and a Poison for the Clan Castle. So, the Clan Castle are out. I don't think that's all of them. We'll soon find out. Now 
Now, a very, very clever thing Skylar does now. Ah, not this one, different one. Do apologise. So, he's just dropped his king there, and that king's going to basically take out the queen. Now, the queen's obviously a bit of an issue with um, hogs and loons. Um, so, with the queen gone, we've only got the substandard air defence to stress about. I didn't see, but it, was that only two hounds? So, there's your haste. There goes a rage, and obviously we can put the rage wherever we like now because the queen's gone. Normally you would rage the lava hound when, so that when it bursts, all of the pups take out the queen. Um, but we took out the queen beforehand, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, and we've still got two two lava hounds flying around. Um, so maybe there were four lava hounds I didn't see. Poor commentating, I do apologise. <clears throat> so we've just got clean up to go. And a king. <clears throat> Fantastic three stars by Skylar there, well done mate. And uh, thank you General Redbeard for my barbarians. So let's have a look at Clash of Clans Most Heroic, which was Becky. And uh, I actually watched this live. Uh, obviously battles are always more exciting when they're live because you don't know the outcome, but um, Becky here is um, <clears throat> is a base 18 and a TH8 and As you can see, he's going up against the TH9 uh, with Expose, so um, he, he wouldn't be expected to get three stars here, um, but uh, but he does. So obviously the poison spell's not going to work on that Val there. Um, what are we going to do about her? We're going to let her go for the Golem, and then the Wizards will take care of her. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but he's dropping his troops into a hole just there, um, which is how that Golem made it there so quickly. So we've lost a Golemite and a Golem, so we've only got one Golem knocking around, but he is quite handily taking out all of those big bombs, which means the Wizards won't get done with them. And he's created such a large funnel that everything's gone into the middle. We've got one Pekka at each side with a few Wizards taking out all the outside buildings, and, uh, and the rest of the party's in the middle. We've got two Rage Spells. <coughs> As it stands at the moment, he's not even going to need that last rage spell. I mean, his, <laughs> his, tro his troops literally walked through the middle of that base. I mean, I think the walls were pointless. They might as well have not been there. So we've got two Pekka's a king and a few loose troops just for one wizard tower now. So let's just speed this up. We'll make them jog a little bit. And, uh... As easy as that. And um, that was a fantastic three stars by Becky again on a TH9 when he's a TH8. So, uh, yeah, really well done, mate. And we'll have a look at the uh, Clash of Clans most heroic defence, which was um, Studley Hungwell. I'm not sure what he's trying to suggest. So, we've got a couple of hogs in here to lure the clan castle. Partial lure.
Oh, this is harsh. I watched this one live. This is hilarious. Uh, I've forgotten her. So, I mean, he's, you know, I, I mean, I wouldn't use that army, but it's not a bad army. You know, it could win against certain bases, definitely. Um, he's uh, tripped some big bombs there, which has more or less wiped out all of his wizards. All but one, plus he has three, three still to deploy. So in come the hogs. He's put the hogs in where all the other main troops were, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and uh, and then the witch is behind. So he's deployed his poison. It's all a little bit too late. I mean, where did 22 hogs go? I, I blinked. They were there. Can't see them now. And an abysmal 25%. Um, fantastic defence there, Becky. I'm not really not sure where those hogs went. <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you for the troops, Matthew. Um, and I know who I'm going to show uh, as the special feature. Um, there were only two people that attacked either, uh, well, uh, two people that attacked above their number, um, and Gemma was one of them. So, um, Gemma, although the stars had already been done, Gemma had done um, base 29 and she is base 32. So, let's have a look at her attack on base 29. And this will be a dragon splash. Now, I've never done a dragon splash, um, <clears throat> even when I was TH7 or 8, um, but. Um, it's quite popular now, especially against another TH7, but they've only got two air defence, so instead of taking a couple of ages on a hill, or vice versa, then if you take out one of the air defence with three lightnings, you, you know, it's it's extremely difficult for a base to defend against it. Um, and uh, something else um, that I wanted to say was just, did you, I don't know if you noticed, but you can do one of two things with the Dragon Splash to ensure that the, 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 the dragons go central. One is to remove the outside buildings with only one or two dragons, um, and that stops them from wandering. Or you can deploy a dragon very wide, um, taking out the, uh, again, taking out the outside buildings, and then when you drop them central, there is nothing for them to wander to. Um, so they will stay central. So obviously that um, last remaining air defence uh, wasn't in the core, um, so the dragons really, I don't even know if she's lost any dragons yet, um, but either way, um, it's an extremely overpowering army. I can't even see the buildings for all of the flames. And I think she's done that in double quick time. So let's just speed them up a little bit because they've, they've got to do the corners. Uh, corners, Marcus. And uh, fantastic three stars by Gem there. Um, so that brings us to the end of uh, the war review. Um, I will bring us to the next war review shortly as it's already finished. Um, and it was against uh, the Weekend Warriors. Uh, sorry, Weekend War. Um, and we uh, we fought them on a Wednesday, so they were never going to win. Um, so I'll bring you that one shortly. So uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys, and um, we'll see you soon. Hello. Thank you.